Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching this Raiders mailbag, and remember, this was filmed on Tuesday, so if anything happens in between, don't yell at me. If anybody needs some awesome Raiders gear, go to chatsports.com slash Raiders sale. There's some stuff up to 50, 60% off. Hurry up and go ahead and get some Raiders gear for the holidays. Super chat time from I Bernal. Can't believe how much dead money we are paying. I will say that dead money is not 100% updated yet. You're going to see a lot less dead money being paid once the whole Henry Rugg situation is sorted out and once Damon Arnett gets hit with the contract conduct detrimental to the team. So the number that you're seeing on Spotrack and over the cap, it's actually not 100% accurate, so don't 100% just look at that. Let's go to the greatness of the Raiders. Tom Downey looked good wearing the Raiders gear yesterday on Chat Sports yesterday. <laughs> I agree. I posted a picture on my Twitter. It's also on my Instagram. If you guys want to see a picture of Tom Downey, Cowboys fan, wearing a Raiders jersey because we got that W, go ahead and please check it out. Danny R310, should the Raiders D blitz more? I do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's the bowling saying? Who do you think you are? I am. That's how I just read that uh, that question. Here's the thing, though. Like, sure, you, if you want to blitz a little bit more, that's totally fine because the Raiders right now are ranked dead last in the NFL in terms of overall blitz rate. But that's also been Gus Bradley's MO. The Raiders knew that you weren't going to blitz a lot. Bradley, in fact, the last three or four years, the Chargers are ranked bottom five. But here's the other thing. You need Gakwe, Max Crosby, the front. They've been good enough where you haven't needed to bring pressure. So... I'm okay with the Raiders with what they're doing. You're being able to generate pressure. If you want to blitz, maybe though a little bit more of Jamal Adams. Uh, Jamal Adams. Uh, Jonathan Abram, I'm okay with that. Let's go to Somersault Sammy. Mitch, I know Mark isn't looking for a new head coach, but uh, what would be your thoughts on the Raiders hiring Joe Brady since the LSU job is gone? So, yes, uh, what's his name from Notre Dame? Brian Kelly He's probably going to be the new head coach for LSU. And I wouldn't really think, if you would have told me the LSU job was open for longer than what it was, I really thought Joe Brady would have been one of the front runners to go back to uh, LSU, though he, right now he's with Carolina. But for sure, man. Come on, Tom. You want to come up? So Tom is a good sport, and he's actually going to put the Raiders jersey back on here. So Sammy Somersault, hang on a second. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I like to see. It's so big, though. It's so big. Well, that's because my man Keith from San Diego. Shout out to Keith. He hooked me up with a Raiders jersey a few weeks ago, or a few years ago at this point. You know that emoji of or the, the meme where it's, it's the smiling guy and he's crying behind the mask? That's you. That's me right now. Well, he's a good sport. Tom, appreciate it. Shout out to the nation for that Raiders win. All right, guys, speaking of the Joe Brady, though, yes, I would absolutely be on board. He was in my top three for coaching candidates. If you haven't seen it yet, please go ahead and check out the video. But who do you guys want as the Raiders' next head coach? I know Mark doesn't really want to talk about it now. He's concentrating on the playoffs, but... If you're not already doing some homework, I'm sorry. You're going to fail your test. That's just how I feel. Let's go to Anthony Morales. Appreciate the super chat. We need better red zone threats besides Waller. Well, you're 100% right, and what do I mean by that exactly is this. Like, you have Foss Moreau. Please put him on the field a little bit more because the Raiders are 6-0, and and he plays more than 25% of the snaps. Brian Edwards needs to be better. He struggles creating separation. Hunter's a good player, but... Still struggles in the red zone a little bit because of his lack of size. But Waller's a good red zone option. It really comes down to me is Derek Carr and the offensive play calling. Because for whatever reason, Derek has never been a good red zone quarterback. Greg Olson, whether it was John Gruden, the Raiders offense has never been good at scoring touchdowns. I mean, you're top six in total yards per game. Yet, you're 20, what, first in terms of points per game. That's just not good. Let's go to Johnny Cat 78 I feel like I got a sneeze. Rumor or truth on Waller wanting to be traded if D.C. remains quarterback next year. It is 100% false, but Johnny, check out the video I did on Saturday. So last Saturday, it was literally around this main topic, and I said it's false. What up, John? Appreciate these super chat, guys. Appreciate it. We got hook, line, and sinker. If you want to support the show, please go ahead. A shout-out, super chat, or you can go ahead and use hashtag Raiders. Gregory Vasquez, I feel the biggest game changer was Deshaun Jackson. He had the Cowgirls on their heels, Raider Nation for life. Go figure, when you add more speed to your offense, it's going to be what? You're going to create separation. You guys have to respect the speed. It opens up things underneath. And Carr and the entire Raiders offense was smart because I, I did, 
I don't really like when referees take the game into their own hands, and I definitely thought the refs did that this past week against the Raiders and the Cowboys. I mean, both teams over 100 yards in total penalties. It was a crime, but hopefully Deshaun Jackson starts playing a little bit more because he absolutely deserves it. Now, when I started this show out, I told you about this awesome deal I got going on. Whether you need a long sleeve shirt, whether you need a t-shirt, an ugly Christmas sweater, head on over to chatsports.com slash Raiders sale. Some of this stuff is up to 50, 60% off the last time I checked. If you need a hooded sweater, it is starting to get a little bit colder. Believe it or not, I do have legs, and a lot of times people don't believe me because you only see this part. Maybe you need some sweatpants. We also got some awesome sweatpants, hats as well. These deals are not going to last forever. And also the products are selling out really quick. I'm just going to be honest. So, jatsports.com slash Raiders sale. That link is available for you all in the comments and in the description. Desi Turner the second. Just win babies were my idea. Let's go. Love the material. You all work so hard to produce. This is awesome. Raider Nation all day. So Desi Turner the second coming up with just win babies. You heard it here first, though. I think somebody else who works here at Chat Sports is going to be a little bit upset. Let's go to Josh the Cosmo Wizard. My take, Trevon Merrick for Defensive Player of the Year, Crosby. Defensive player of the year. So defensive rookie of the year. Unfortunately, Merrick's not going to get it. He's probably not even going to finish in the top 10. Nate Hobbs is going to be higher on my list than Merrick. It's just it's going to go to Mike, Micah Parsons, whether we like it or not. Crosby for defensive player of the year. I really believe that he deserves to be in the conversation. But it, defensive player of the year is also a stat-driven statistic. And the fact that Crosby doesn't have nearly as amount of sacks as somebody like Miles Garrett, who's got 14, he's not going to win the award. Let's go to LI Raider 312. Our secondary is looking good. Any free agents next year that could take us above? Well, I would actually say your, your number one thing that you want to do this offseason is bring back Casey Hayward. Casey Hayward's going to be a free agent. A lot of dudes on those one year contracts. So I'd say you bring back Casey Hayward. You got Trevon, uh, Trayvon Mullen. Figure out what you're going to do with Jonathan Abram. You still need a safety, but you got Merrick. You got a lot of these other players, but. I'm not really going to worry about free agents. I'm going to worry about bringing back Casey Hayward because he's been a top 10 cornerback this season. You're a noob. I'm not going to lie. I thought that said boob. Uh, you say you don't have confidence in any incoming rookie quarterbacks and you don't want Deshaun Watson. Well, who is a realistic option that's better than Derek Carr? It's a really good question. You're right, though. I'm not really too crazy about too many of the quarterbacks simply because I don't want to draft a quarterback in round one, and I really think it's going to be like Kenny Pickett, Malik Willis, uh, Corral. They're, they're all, there's probably going to be three, four quarterbacks that go in round one. If I were to throw out any name that's probably a realistic option, it's Russell Wilson of the Seahawks. They're three and eight right now. They can't win a football game, and there was rumors last offseason about him wanting out. So if I don't want Watson, Aaron Rodgers is another option to throw out there. But the fact that Wilson could might, I, I'm not kidding you when I say this, Russell Wilson will not play for the Seahawks next year. Book it, timestamp this video, he's going to be available. But here's the question, is he an upgrade over Derek Carr? Shout out to Sam for making this. Russell Wilson or DC, who's the better quarterback? And if you would have asked me this last offseason, I would have easily said Russell Wilson. And not that I don't like Carr, I still think the answer is Russ. However, this is actually something that we've talked about very frequently here at Chat Sports. Is Russell starting to get to that point where he might be a little bit overrated? Like, Russell's better than Carr, but is he better than, like, me giving up three first-round picks for Wilson? No, I ain't doing that. That's definitely not something I'm going to consider. But let me know down in the comments, y'all. RW for Russell Wilson or DC for Derek Carr. Now, a special reminder that we do live mailbags every single week, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. So to make sure that you never miss any of our shows, please go ahead, subscribe, turn on those notifications. And I actually want to give a special shout out to some of our more loyal watchers around here because I know a lot of times you might not think that I look at the comments. You might not th see, like, hey, I see people who are liking the videos. I I've been doing a lot of my homework, and I want to give a shout out to Mark Coaster, a.k.a. Uh, Mars. Marcuccio, NVD Money, Daddy D-Dub, Alec Thompson, and Peter Fuentes. I've been looking through, and you guys have been commenting on a lot of the videos, and you've been liking it. Talk to us, Mitch. Shout out to Mark. But, uh, yeah, I see you guys. So, please, sub, turn on those notices. Maybe see yourself on a future Raiders Report show. Super chat time from Reyes. I hate the Cowboys, but I want Kellen Moore as our head coach. You're more than okay to do that. I mean, Rich Versace was a Cowboy. 
uh, we got a few Cowboys actually on our current roster. So I don't really care where you were before. As long as you help the Raiders win now, that's what it's all about. Big Daddy Raiders 69. I think this is Jeremy's burner account. Do you think we could afford Devontae Adams at $24 million a year? Yes, absolutely. It's funny. Actually, before the show, I started crunching some numbers, which I know is kind of a scary thing to think about. But I crunched some numbers, and what I see the Raiders having in terms of salary cap space is somewhere around $50 million next offseason. So you're going to be able to afford Devontae Adams. The salary cap's going up, but... 24 mil a year is uh, probably the number that you're going to have to pay to get Devontae Adams. Let's go to Emmanuel Salazar. Pick up Brandon Scherf in free agency, question mark. Emmanuel Salazar, I actually really like this question. Scherf is the top offensive guard free agent, and if you're really looking for that extra piece to your offensive line, Scherf is an absolute dog. He's a hell of a run blocker as well, so yes, I would be 100% on board, but... You better be ready to pay an offensive guard probably $18, $19 million a year. He's had some injury issues, but when he's on the field, he's about as good as it gets. And if you want to check out Scherf, he's playing for the Washington football team, which is who we're going up against this week. So seriously, check it out. I don't want you to miss it. Super Chat coming in from Hector. Remember, probably your best chance to get on the show right now is going to be Super Chats. Glad we didn't get... OBJ. Shout out to Devontae Adams. I don't know if you guys saw this story, but apparently after the Packers and Rams game this past week, which honestly it just makes me like Devontae Adams even more, OBJ went up to Adams and said, hey man, can I get your jersey after the game? Adams said, go get Cooper Cup's jersey because apparently you wanted to go there more. Cooper Cup plays for the Rams. If Adam's still a little bit salty, that OBJ didn't go to Green Bay. Now, guys, if I didn't get to your question, I'm sorry. I appreciate everyone who's tuning in right now. we got over 1,000 people watching. Please hit me up on IG, MitchellRens365. I've been trying to comb through my Instagram DMs a little bit more often. Still getting a lot of questions every day, so be patient with me. But please, if you have a question, you want to talk greater, see what's going on in my life, hit me up, MitchellRens365. John S., you're next up here. Will... Sacks Crosby make the Pro Bowl team. Absolutely. Crosby Crosby is an absolute lock. He's playing like a top five defensive player in the NFL right now. So, yes, he, he will. Let's go to Jarrett Hopfinger. Mitch, thoughts on Raiders making Byron Lefwich as head coach? I like Byron Lefwich. And if you watched my show earlier on in the week, I talked about Lefwich being one of my top candidates out there. He's aggressive. He's learning underneath Bruce Arians, and Derek Carr's at his absolute best when he's in an aggressive offense. So if you want to see somebody who's not afraid to chuck the ball around the field, especially down the field, Byron Leftwich is a phenomenal candidate. But here are some other guys that I definitely want you all to keep in mind. enemy, Joe Brady, Kellen Moore, Brian Dable, and another name that's not on here is Doug Peterson. It's really hard to be able to find head coaches who have a Super Bowl ring. Anthony Morales. All right, what do we got here? D-Jax Adams. Waller, Renfro, Jacobs, and Carr, it's a nasty offense. You're right, it would be a very nasty offense. It's just, can you afford to do everything on there? Now, Waller, I think if you want to get Waller back, you're going to have to extend him. Devontae Adams, probably going to be about $24 million. The other thing you're not talking about in here is how you're going to have to expend, extend Max Crosby, who if I'm Max, I'm asking for $18 million at the absolute least. I like Jacobs, I like Carr. You don't forget about Kenyon Drake in there either, but a lot, a lot of really good, talented players, no doubt about it. And if you can't get Jackson, maybe you go out and find another speedster in the free agency market. All right, y'all, Christmas, I know it's right around the corner, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, well, I don't know. What do you want for Hanukkah? What do you want for the holidays? I don't want to offend anybody. So what do you want for Christmas? Let me know down in the comments section. Literally today I sent a link to, to my girlfriend, Alex, like, hey, I want that Raiders hoodie. I want that Raiders hoodie. And if you guys want a Raiders hoodie, remember, you can actually go to chatsports.com slash Raiders sale. A lot of really good hoodies on sale. The last time I checked, there was one that was like for 70 bucks. And you can get it now for $35. Um, but they got awesome hats there as well. Maybe some jerseys. Let me know. Uh, Jalen Montes says, a new Xbox. What was your favorite Xbox game? I played a lot of Halo. I played some Fusion Frenzy. Madden, college football, NCAA. Was really good at Guitar Hero. And then I hit puberty. Let's go to Desi Turner. Hey, the IG poll, laugh out loud, recognize uh, not important so you put out an ig poll or you voted on the ig poll or you told me to either way here's the thing though jeremy was one of the very first people that came up to me and said the just win baby so i got to give jeremy chugs a little bit of credit 
Let's go to Josh Gilchrist. I don't fanboy over a lot of people, but for those of you that know me, I love to cook and I love watching the cooking channel. Guy Fieri be a top five dude I would love to get on the Raiders board. Just saying. Appreciate the super chat, though, Josh. Let's go to Jack Bishop. Wilson is washed. He was way better wide receiver and probably the same offensive line and is nowhere near Carr's level this season. So, yes, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett are better than what the Raiders currently have, but with Darren Waller and some of your other options, I will honestly say Wilson's team as an entire general has really struggled. Also, their offensive coordinator sucks, but I agree. Derek Carr has been better than Russell Wilson. Wilson has not been good this season, but I still think Wilson is a better overall quarterback. Call me crazy, Jack. Let's go to Iran. This this a team game, and I don't think Carr is is the missing piece. If we build around him, right, I honestly think we can get the Super Bowl with him. I don't 100% disagree with you, right? Where you saw earlier this season, Raiders were 5-2, and two, clicking on all cylinders, Carr was playing at an MVP level. But it's the contract. Sooner or later, you're going to have to give D.C. a new contract. And with a lot of these quarterbacks, I'm not comfortable giving Carr 30, over $30 million. Now, if he wants to say, hey, man, I'll play at $20 million, you know, then that's a different conversation. It's just Carr has shown me if he doesn't have a good team around him, he's not an elite quarterback. And I want an elite quarterback. And if you don't think that he's going to be an elite quarterback, well, then guess what? It's time to move on. But whoever the new Raiders head coach is going to bring in, they're probably going to bring in a brand new quarterback on a cheaper contract. But a lot of these NFL teams going to the Super Bowls, winning games, are with QBs on cheaper contracts because then you can build a good team. Let's go to Reyes. How good do you think Alex Leatherwood is doing right now? I think he is playing at an average guard position. Would I have taken Alex Leatherwood in the first round, number 17 overall, if I'd known what we were getting? No, absolutely not. But I will give him some credit for being able to make an adjustment. He's been playing much better at guard than he was at right tackle, though he was basically the worst right tackle in the NFL at the time. I'm going to be patient with Leatherwood. And hopefully he turns out a lot similar to what Colton Miller did. Miller struggled as a rookie, got better his second year, and now he's one of the best left tackles in all of football. I'm going to be patient with Leatherwood. I think he's going to be a good NFL guard, though. Last question here on mailbag uh, for the first mailbag. If I don't get to your question, remember, guys, we're going to do another one if you're watching this live. So still use in hashtag Raiders or Super Chat. Let's go to random question. How would you feel getting Del Rio back as our head coach? Wouldn't want him, and I know the Raiders aren't going to be interested in Jack Del Rio either. In fact, when I made my first John Gruden replacement video, he was on my list of never going to happen.